Hello traders out there in Traderland. It is a three day weekend. We got a lot to cover. Let's get started. First, a heartfelt thank you to all those that wish me health <laughs> after last week's accident that I had. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch last week's video and you'll understand what I'm saying. Last week, I talked about a big argument on going bullish. We didn't do that. Markets were so bearish that we continued to stretch down. I'm going to be highly educational in this video, and I want you to follow me here. I had a rubber band, and I pulled it down, 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 down. The further I stretch it down, the faster and the harder it's going to snap back. Okay, Remember that. The markets are that way. It's called overbought and oversold. If you're oversold 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 think about the covid crash the corona crash the covid crash dropped so significantly that it went down 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 and it snapped back just as aggressively gave us a big b bottom you see that even on smaller time frames okay interday week daily charts weekly charts monthly charts it's it's all highly relative the reason I say that is because of this. Last week, we built a big argument that we should have bounced. On Wednesday, we started to get that bounce. I said, I don't know if it's going to happen one day, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know when it's going to happen. Pretty sure it's going to happen. Wednesday, we got our pop. Big rally, but the bears came out to sell into that strength. Thursday, Friday, sold, sold, sold. Okay. With that said, let's get into what I'm seeing right now in the markets. What I want to do is get into the daily charts first, okay? The daily charts. This is the daily chart. Let's go to the daily chart on the spider. Daily chart on the, chart on the spider it looks like this, okay? We have been in a big downtrend. Lower swing highs, lower swing lows, nice downtrend. In this downtrend, we had a falling wedge. In the falling wedge, we should have found support right here. However, what we saw instead was a breakdown of this major trend line. Okay, major trend line. We dropped lower. We started to bounce. I drew a trend line from this low to this low, and look how we found support there yet again. And this is the Wednesday bounce. Let me blow this up so you can really see it with me. Wanna... So we're dropping. So that's Tuesday. So Monday, big drop to the downside. Massive. Tuesday, more downside. And then Wednesday, boom, there's the pop. At one point, it was glorious. Went down, touched this trend line. Here, let me get the... Let me go to a dot here. Whoops. So it went down, touched that trend line, rallied back up, blowing past the major trend line, healing itself. I said, there it is. There's the bounce. Look for more follow through. But what happened instead was sellers came in, sold it all the way back down, 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 below that trend line. And then, bam, to the downside. And then we doji out, doji out, or we have a spinning top uh, because there is a body there. See the body? Spinning top. Uh, reversal pattern after an extended drop to the downside. So this is a pretty good drop, guys, to the downside. We went down one, two, three, four, five days. I don't count this one. It's just a, a little um, pivot candle. S uh, six, seven, seven bars to the downside a huge sell-off now the thing I look at here is the the volume do you see the volume down here it's massive volume on the sell side really low volume on the buy side and you can see my um, average line right here so any prints volume prints above this average line on a down leg is very bearish so that's not what we like. We want to see if in a bullish market, high prints above the moving average um, on the volume line um, in an uptrend or up legs. That's what we want to see. But So <clears throat> all I know is 
bears are still fully in control, but we're way overextended to the downside. If I bring in the MACD centered oscillator, the MACD centered oscillator, let's look at this. I want to analyze this on a daily chart. If you look at this on the daily chart, usually when it gets down to this area, um, you will get a bounce, okay? Right here, right here, we get a bounce. We get there again, we get a bounce. We not only got there, we're way below that area again. If I go way back, I just can't even tell you the last time we've been to you know these lows. But let me share with you what I'm seeing here. The question I'm asking myself is, is this a bottom? Is this a drop with a doji, drop with a spinning top, and is this going to go higher? If it does go higher, it has a lot of trend lines to contend with now. It has a lot of problems. But if I look here at the MACD, we're way oversold. And if you look here, we're starting to get a crossover from the MACD line and the signal line. The signal line in this could change. If you look at the histogram, you can see that we have a negative tick, but it's really small, and then even a smaller, the smallest negative tick you can get. It's getting ready to flip to a positive tick. The only way to get a positive tick is the MACD and signal line cross bullishly to the bottom and head higher. So that is what it looks like it's ready to do. It's a great spot. I would much rather be a buyer here than a seller. I'd much rather be buying down here than trying to sell down here, okay? Just like up here, I'd much rather be selling up here instead of trying to buy up here, okay? So keep that in mind on the MACD oscillator. The other thing I'd like to look at is the RSI, which is a banded oscillator. and I look for extreme overbought areas, extreme oversold. We're in an oversold area. If you look here, if you go back, I'm going to go back to my crosshairs. I know this is highly, edu I'm, I'm going deeper into education, a deep dive on the daily, on the MACDs, but or on the, um, on the dailies. But if you look here, look how low we've been. The last time we were this low puts us back here at the beginning of the, the drop this recessionary drop in January so January we had this big drop and as this thing dropped um, we hadn't seen this for a while oh there's my daughter hey, hey. just say hi just say hi, hi. this is Kyra Hello. <laughs> so hi, we're guys. talking stocks awesome <laughs> have a good bye. day bye <laughs> So we're in my humble abode here in a townhouse in um, Tampa, Florida, in West Chase. And um, it's three stories. Crazy. My last house had five stories staggered. But uh, it's not stories. I would say a staggered five layer. Now we're at a three, a staggered three layer. So they're upstairs. We're in the middle level. And then there's the lower level down below. Anyway, so they have to walk by me when I'm doing my video. And I don't know if they like doing that. They're like, oh. Daddy's doing his video again. We're trying, we got to go through. Anyway, okay, let's get going. So, um, and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Father's Day. Woo! Anyway, look in here, RSI, we're down. Um, it's been a long time since we've been down at this level. So let's look at the levels before it got there and what happened. So when we got to this level, markets rallied higher. So let me shrink this, bring this down a little bit. Look at this. So look at this low, this low, rallied higher, this low, rallied higher, this low, we started to, and it just couldn't do it. So these lows did not pan out well. And um, I think that was my <laughs> wife in there. <laughs> no, it is my wife. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> They, everyone hates being on camera. <laughs> Why does everybody hate being on camera? All right. So um, we're down here again. So the idea is, are we going to get a bounce to the upside? I would, I would much rather be a buyer down here than trying to sell down here. Just like being up here, I'd much rather be a seller up here than trying to buy up here. And you can see where we dropped. So up here, I'd much rather be a seller. And we dropped down here, I'd much rather be a buyer. So it... 
I think there's a good chance of it going up, especially now because the rubber band has extended way down. And this is only on the daily chart, okay? Daily chart on the Spiders S&P 500. The reason this is important is because this is 500 of the bluest chip companies out there in the United States, okay? 500 of the big dogs. So whatever the market's doing is reflected really well in the S&P 500. That's why we spend so much time on the Spiders, which is the ETF. The ETF gives us a volume print so we can see the volume. Um, along with price action, very important to technical analysts. We want to see volume confirming price action. We need those two working together. And we talked a little bit about that on a, a basic level just um, on this video. So <clears throat> moving forward, I what I want to do is show you now the weekly chart on the same chart. Okay, so we did the dailies. Let's talk about the weekly. Now, if I look at the weekly, we're down, 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 had a falling wedge. We broke a major trend line, big trend line. We broke it, we broke it, we broke it. That's very, very bearish. If I look at the MACD, look at the MACD here. We're way low here. I mean, the last time we were down here was, um, this is on a weekly. So this puts us, I mean, the last time we saw this level where we're at right now was March of 2020. March 2020. This is the Corona crash. That we saw that this one when we got this low you can see that we popped higher do you see that this low popped higher this low popped higher but we're even lower now if this thing were to rally back next week this would build a double bottom you, you see the w it would make if you can see that w that's very important because if it makes a w then we have built a bearish divergence because we have that trajectory. But if this builds a double bottom, it reverses immediately, goes up. It would be the orange line. If I go up to the orange line, it goes up. There's your double bottom, double bottom. And that's really bullish. Now that hasn't happened yet, so I, I can't even put that there, but um, that's what I'm foreseeing coming into the future. The other thing in the RSI, if you look here, if we do rally up, in fact, we do get the bearish divergence immediately. It goes up and this one lower and it would go higher big time. So I'm seeing on the weekly big time opportunity for a a bullish, not a bearish, a bullish divergence, a bullish divergence that would bode really well with buyers coming in, buyers coming in, and um, sellers happen to buy to cover. So you have buyers um, on both sides, the bulls and the bears both buying. And you get this big rally but to the upside, especially because we're so extended to the downside. Quickly, I want to look at what I'm seeing on the cues on the weeklies. If you look at the cues, the difference on tech stocks is we stopped at a major trend line. This is huge. The reason I want to show you this is because of how it, it dropped, went below the trend line, went below it, and then came back up and closed for the week right above it. We're still in the falling wedge. We're in a major support area. And if you look at the MACD, we're, we have that trajectory. But look at the MACD. We have that trajectory. And look at the look at the RSI. We have that trajectory, bullish divergences on the major time frame of weeklies on the S and P 500 and the Qs, especially the Qs. The Qs are even above the trend line. I mean, that is opportunity for bull. R highly risky being a bull in this sort of market. You've got to be nimble. In the next week and a half or so, we have a mentorship. It's all done online. If you want to be mentored, this is the time to find us. Okay, come in next week to learn this stuff. Um, next week and a half or whatever. So you want to get in this class Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You want to get in this. Um, we're going to teach you all this stuff times fifty. <laughs> I mean, you can't believe how deep we go into the things that we teach here. So um, this is very elementary, what we're teaching here. It's going to sound like this is deep, good stuff, and you're taking notes, maybe some of you, um, and you're like, this is rich. Don't be fooled. <laughs> this is highly elementary. Um, it'll get you down the path. You'll be able to, t you know, ride the bike, but not without the training wheels. But anyway, here it is. 
that's what I'm looking at. Now, the next thing I want to do is look at the monthly chart. We only have eight days, trading days left. Eight trading days left at the spiders, okay? Um, hold on. There was a chart, I think. Oh, hold on. It was it was the weekly. I'm going to look at the... Uh, I wanted to look at a couple others. This is small caps, broken major trend line. Financials, broken major trend line. But they're all giving us these bullish divergence opportunities but gold if you look at this big buying opportunity came down hit support boom boom this is a weekly chart weekly chart on gold big opportunity there silver if it breaks above these two trend lines big time buying opportunity it could be a double bottom that would be the double bottom there but the vix i wanted to show you because big trend line coming down if i zoom way out i just want you to see the picture and then we zoom back in we we went up, 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 just above this trend line and then came back down, closing below this major trend line. So this is telling me that we have a good chance of dropping here. VIX weekly dropping. Bitcoin um, just fell out of bed this last week. I am licking my chops for below 20,000 at the time of this video. And I, I'm i going to, I'm looking at my trading algorithms uh, to tell me when to purchase, but they are setting up for a buy right now soon we're really really extended to the downside this is a juicy buy opportunity um soon i, I wait from the algorithms that will tell me um, when to do that ethereum same thing um, ethereum down here is just below a major trend line if it can close back above this trend line um that would be pretty bullish to see that but what a slide this thing has been on okay now a quick quickly and I'm almost done and then I'm going to share something with you at the end uh, it has something to do with what Powell said the Fed um, chairman Powell um, it is it sent shivers down my spine and uh, I'll, I'll share this here momentarily and he just made this comment but if you look at the spider um, oh, hold on let me go to the monthly chart there's the spider. Now, a couple things here. Very overextended on RSI. Very overextended on the MACD. Big, big drop on the month. We have eight days. If we go really bullish the next eight days to get back above at least this red line, that would be good. But I'd like to see the spider get back above 396 area, 397. You know, if we could get back to the 400 mark, um, that's what that would be a huge week and that would really set the markets to be bullish for the next few months i don't think that's going to happen i think it'll rally back up some but then i think it's going to stay below these two blue lines it'll probably come up hit its head and then just stay below this line so i that's what i foresee happening but anything could happen and this is me making my hand motions so i know when i edit this video to zoom in <laughs> But here's what I want to share with you guys. Um, first, you know what? Let me just go over here. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm going to go to LinkedIn. If you're not connected with me on LinkedIn, feel free to do so. Uh, my name, I go by D7. But my name is Des W. Woodruff. You can follow me on, um, on this. But the thing that I want to share with you is this. This, 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 this. <clears throat> so... Fed Chairman Powell's statement should send shills down our spines. And this is what he said. He said, looking forward, rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar, the U.S. dollar in the future. That should freak everybody out. That should freak everybody out. Um, I can't believe what I'm hearing there. I cannot believe it. So um, I shared it on LinkedIn. Anytime I see something that concerns me or um, has of interest in me, I, I share it on LinkedIn. But that's where we're at. Um, so, guys, I want to say this again. Thank you for the well wishes. I'm doing fine, um, no problems with my health. 
I got, I jacked up my neck, you know, you know, obviously I'm not wearing a brace and I can move around, no problem, but it's going to be a little while before I'm able to uh, get into any of my like high pace racquetball play because uh, I play tournament level racquetball. So anyway, I, I'm going to be talking to a neurosurgeon, talking about what things we could do to quicken the healing process of um, C3, 4, 5, and 6, <laughs> for you guys that know ter those terminologies. And uh, But anyway, for all those who are fathers, happy Father's Day to you. I have two beautiful daughters myself, 19 and 16. Tell me how many kids do you have and what are their ages? Tell me how many kids you have and what are their ages? Down below. I'm really interested to know for you guys what your thoughts on Powell's statement. You know, any thoughts that you have on Powell's statement, I'm really interested hearing your thoughts on that and what you think if you are if you think we're still going to go bearish next week that by next week what will we start and where we end by next week it's a short week four days if you think we're going to be lower let us know i'm really interested to say no i don't think we're going to bounce des or d7 i think that we're going to drop even lower next week which if it does the rubber band will have the stretch that much further down very interesting times. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. Take care, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.